Due to climate change, the globe is experiencing a water shortage. But fortunately, these six technical innovations are helping humanity meet its need for drinking water. The problem of water conservation has recently gained a lot of attention. Water scarcity and drought are not new to humanity, but they are now more common and severe due to climate change. Technology has stepped in to help fulfill the growing need for clean, drinkable water in the midst of the worldwide water crisis by combining innovation, electric power generation, flood protection, pollution management, and infrastructure development. The ability to supply clean water for daily usage, from drinking water to agriculture and industries, is being strained by population expansion. Water technology advancements have significantly advanced efforts to address the perennial problems of water contamination and scarcity. Wastewater treatment and desalination are two of the best methods. People are too hesitant to ingest recycled wastewater, and desalination is a highly expensive endeavor. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel once again. In today's video, we will list some of the top technologies that can help solve the water crisis. But before that, please ensure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for further amazing updates. Now, without further ado, let's get going. This is Tectastic. Okay, let's start with some shocking facts. A survey of 2,000 Americans found that while 13% refused to test recycled wastewater, 48% were unsure and just 49% were willing to do so. The distaste is too intense, even after solid evidence that the water is safe to drink. Whatever the case, scientists and other government agencies have developed the following technological solutions to address the water shortage. Technology has helped humanity in the face of the world's water issue by providing a variety of solutions to meet the rising demand. Now, we will reveal some of the top technologies that can help solve the water crisis. Number 1. Toilet to tap or recycled wastewater. Some nations want to use sewage water, an untapped resource, as droughts are getting more frequent on the planet. Recycled sewage, according to many experts, is the way of the future for water and will help to address the water crisis. This water source, often referred to as recycled wastewater in the industry and toilet to tap in layman's terms, predictably causes an unpleasant reaction in most people. However, in the era of climate change, recycled wastewater is quickly emerging as one of the most crucial components of a drought-proof water supply. What's more is it's just as tasty and pure as anything you could purchase in a bottle from the Swiss Alps. A select few countries, like those of Singapore, South Africa, Belgium, California, and Texas, have already made investments in the technologies needed to address the world's water dilemma. The Toilet to Tap project was started in Southern California, which is currently experiencing a record-breaking dry period. Water scarcity has been a problem in California for a while, but it is now getting much worse. It's anticipated that this summer's widespread drought will practically triple in severity. For its water supply, Southern California is reliant on Northern California and the Colorado River, which is under growing stress. Due to the lack of fresh water, the state is looking into additional options to meet its water needs, and recycled wastewater has emerged as a top contender. Number 2. The Water Seer The water seer, which resembles a well, draws water from the atmosphere rather than from the ground. Six feet below the surface, in a chamber surrounded by cool earth, the device is permanently installed. An above-ground turbine is turned by the wind, turning internal fan blades. The vapor condenses on the chamber's sides when the heated air cools after being pushed into an interior condensation compartment by the blades. The water then drains into the bottom compartment where it may be removed with a straightforward pump and hose, similar to a hand pump. The system is capable of collecting 37 liters of water each day under ideal circumstances. A green, low-maintenance mobile water system has been developed using this technology to address the escalating water shortage. However, at a depth of 2 meters, it's only true for half of the day, and the gadget only functions when the ground is cooler than the air. The air will typically be colder at night than the ground. The bulb will never be consistently cold enough to be below the dew point at a depth of 2 meters. Only the 12 hours per day when the air is hotter than the earth will it be able to produce. Number 3. Drinkable Book 
What if a book could purify your water by filtering out 99% of the impurities? Sounds intriguing and a little unbelievable. However, Teresa Dankovich developed the method while studying for her doctorate in chemistry at McGill University in Montreal and conducting research on antibacterial paper. Each page of drinkable book is embedded with silver or copper nanoparticles that destroy bacteria when water passes through them, making it a peculiar instrument for purifying water. There are enough filtration sheets in each book to provide clean water for four years. Brief water safety messages are stamped on each page. The warning? Deadly infections could be present in the water in your village. However, this book's pages act as paper water filters to make the liquid safe to drink and has been published in a number of regional languages to gain widespread recognition. In five different nations, field tests using the book's pages showed that 99.9% .9 of the bacteria that cause watery illnesses like typhoid, cholera, hepatitis, and E. coli were removed. In Kenya, Ghana, Haiti, Ethiopia, India, and Tanzania, this groundbreaking technology has been widely used. Number 4. Fog Catcher Today, the UN estimates that over 2 out of every 10 people lack access to clean drinking water. Each year, millions of people, the majority of them children, pass away from illnesses brought on by poor access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. However, Fog and dew are plentiful sources of humidity in some desert regions where there is little rain, and they are gathered to create fresh water. It's been done for centuries to gather dew or fog. In Israel, archaeologists have discovered proof of low circular walls that were erected around plants and vines to capture condensation-generated moisture. Stone stacks were positioned in the Atacama Desert of South America and Egypt so that condensation could cascade down the inside walls where it was collected and then stored. It may seem strange to capture water vapor from fog and collect it, but this technology is incredibly effective in dry, arid locations like the coast of Peru where rain and water are scarce. These areas are ideal for fog catching since they frequently experience fog, particularly on hills or in high altitudes. Large mesh nets are used in these installations to catch the fog's vapor as it trickles into collection trays after condensation. Fog catching devices were initially erected in South America, but they are also present in Chile, Peru, Ghana, Eritrea, South Africa, and California. In a microclimate in Morocco, where 6,300 liters of water may be captured per day, the slopes of Mount Batmes Gita are home to the largest installation of fog catchers. However, it only produces enough water each day to meet the needs of 160 people. Number 5. Perforine Graphene Filters For a long time, desalination has been too expensive and energy intensive to be a widely used method of enhancing water access. Lockheed Martin, an American aerospace defense and technology company, has created and patented a perforine graphene filter that can transform seawater into fresh water with less energy use. When compared to conventional reverse osmosis desalination, this filtration method can lower energy costs by 20% while withstanding higher pressures and temperatures. It has a one atom dense perforated hyperpermeable filter that is said to increase water flow by 500% when compared to competing products. In areas where fresh water supplies are insufficient to satisfy demand, this groundbreaking technology will provide a desalination alternative that is less expensive and energy intensive. Seawater conversion should only be used as a last resort, although it has enormous potential for the industrial sector. Number 6. The Desalinator Desalinator uses a novel technology to supply the need for water that is decentralized, regenerative, ocean-safe, and driven entirely by solar energy. The method makes large quantities of high-quality water using solar energy. A Dutch-British business called Desalinator has been working on solar-powered desalination technology and is situated in Dubai. Their processes offer technology for advanced water provisioning and do away with the energy intensiveness and toxic effects of older desalination technologies. 
It attempts to provide net zero localized clean water that can assist at-risk communities in becoming independent of outside water sources. The desalinator's creators now guarantee that their system will be the least expensive per liter of any comparable device on the market. They have developed a movable flat screen television sized unit with a top surface that is slanted and covered in a grid of photovoltaic panels as their solution. The desalinator is equipped with all-terrain wheels for mobility, according to the researchers, and is made to endure 20 years. According to the manufacturer, the gadget is more trustworthy than conventional desalination systems that use reverse osmosis, a process that employs specialized membranes to filter out undesirable particles. Its lack of moving parts plays a role in this, but more crucially, its complete energy independence. And that's the wrap of the video, guys. We certainly need some top advanced techniques to solve the water crisis. What are your thoughts? Which technique will be more valuable according to you? Let us know in the comment section down below. And also, if you like our work, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.